Hey guys, what's up? So I'm coming today with another video and it is officially day four of the egg diet and today, once again, feeling fine, have energy. I really enjoy this diet for the most part because I do not feel drained. I do not feel as if I am under calorie deficient if that makes sense but i will say today i did try the scrambled eggs and i was going to add cheese but i decided not to add the dairy-free cheese just because sometimes it can taste weird with things and i didn't want to mix it with the eggs i ate this morning and there is a huge difference i have found between scrambled eggs and the boiled eggs the boiled eggs make you feel fit full eh feel fuller than when you are eating scrambled eggs so this makes so much sense because i have watched other um egg diet videos and people have talked about how they feel hungry or how they weren't feeling as full and um i really never understood why because i'm like i always feel so full so stuffed almost especially with eating the three eggs but this morning when i cooked the scrambled eggs guys i really 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 felt completely different like i was like huh did i eat all and then by the time i did the second batch of the scrambled eggs for lunch i realized yeah scrambled eggs do not fill you as good as the boiled eggs so i don't know what happens if there's like a loss of some type of properties within the transition from being boiled to being scrambled but i did not feel fill why can't i say fill fill as full as when i ate the boiled eggs so definitely something to keep in mind um i'm actually not sure what I'm going to do in that instance because I do feel like I was a lot more hungry today um, I ended up also changing my fruit to oranges so I also don't think oranges fill you up as well as apples do so I do feel like this next three days is going to be a little bit more torturous than the first couple of days where it was the basic foods because the scrambled eggs and the oranges are not as filling of a food as the boiled eggs and apple. So just keep that in mind. If you are doing scrambled eggs, this might be why you're not feeling full because for some reason I did not feel as full as I did when I was eating the boiled eggs. Especially eating three cooked scrambled eggs, I felt as though I may have eaten just one boiled egg like the equivalent so just keeping that in mind for dinner i really was having such a hard time figuring out what to eat for dinner so i just went very basic and i did um turkey like sliced turkey lunch meat turkey i don't know why i thought of that but i was like i wanted something more sweet so i wanted to change it up so i did sliced turkey honey and um i did just the side of peas this time so actual cold lunch meat turkey and peas and that was such a strange meal to put together but it was more filling than everything i ate at the beginning of the day with the scrambled eggs and the oranges so i'm just letting you guys know that um it's fine i guess because i am trying today to drink a lot more water i'm trying today to drink a lot more tea so those are also hopefully going to help as the days go on but i do feel fine overall i don't feel as bad as i have felt on other diets such as the juicing diet where i just felt like i had no energy and i was unable to do things um today once again i'm being so bad with the working out but i feel like i sometimes can only concentrate on one thing especially when it comes to time management because i don't like to take away time from my son to do things for myself that sounds really crazy but when he is awake i really love being so attentive with him so you know involved in what he's doing um and you know i still have my momly duties where i still have to cook and clean and all that stuff so i try not to get too i don't know 
focused on other things and really try to enjoy my time with him. So um, yeah, I did not work out again today, uh, sadly. I am trying to enforce the working out, but I don't know when I will. I will have to do some type of schedule to really, really, really plan out like the exact timing of my workouts. Because if I do not have it on the schedule where it's like, okay, you work from this time to this time, you play from this time to this time, you eat from that. I, I, if I'm not organized in that way, it almost is not a priority in my mind. So I need to make the working out a priority and really fix my schedule so that I'm incorporating the working out into my schedule. Um, but that definitely comes with time and it comes with trial and error. So it's something that I'm currently working on. You know, I'm not perfect. So I am trying my very best. I have noticed now, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, you probably have. I wear the same outfit during these videos, during the weigh-ins and this time of night, just because I want to be able to see the difference. And I think that was one of the issues with the first video. I was wearing different clothes for the before and after. So especially with colors, with, with black, you can look a lot thinner than you do with a different color. So that's why I'm going with the blue pants. And um, you know, my stomach is out, so there's not really a shirt involved. But that is why I've been wearing the blue pants because I want to make sure that I'm able to see the difference throughout the days with the same pants on so um before i did this video and i was putting on these pants you know with leggings they stretch throughout the day and then if you put them on i only put them on at night like throughout the day of course i have on different clothes and then when i go to sleep i have on pajamas but um i put these on for my try on for the this foot video and actually they're a lot looser <laughs> than they were day one when i was 218 so today I weighed in at 210, which means I lost 8.8 .8 pounds so far for day four. Today weighing in at 210, even 38.6% body fat, 28.5% muscle. And again, today is February 28th. So this is day morning four. So 8.8 .8 pounds weighed in at 210. I feel really good. Like I said, I really can't complain about how I'm feeling because I don't feel miserable. And I did want to say to a lot of you guys, like you should not feel hungry. On this particular diet, it, it's not about feeling hungry. Um, that is why you have the options of snacks and you have the options of the green tea and you can eat as many apples as you want. You can eat as many oranges as you want. There's no limit when it comes to those foods, those fillers. So if you are feeling hungry, then definitely eat another apple, eat another orange, eat something. Do not let yourself be starving. And I think that also is where a lot of people kind of go wrong. Like there's no perfect um, diet for everybody. So if you are more hungry on something else, then, you know, make sure that you're incorporating that listening to your body for the most part and not, you know, binging on something else. Just do something within the diet. So add that extra snack. Like I said, today was the only day I actually did both snacks. So I ended up eating two oranges today. And usually I only eat one apple because it's so filling, but I ended up eating two oranges today because I was hungry. <laughs> I really was. So the scrambled eggs definitely for me are not as filling as the um, boiled eggs. And that's just my personal opinion. And that's how it was in my body. I, I just was not full eating the scrambled eggs. And, um, was it better going down? Not really. I just, I don't know. My body just does not like eggs anymore. Like 100%. I just think my body is like not into the eggs. It grew the sensitivity to the oats. So maybe it's growing a sensitivity to the eggs and eventually I won't be able to do the egg diet. So I'm trying to really, really, really like shut down and do this egg diet so that I can, you know, give the eggs a break for at least a couple months. But I am overall loving every morning waking up and seeing that weight has dropped off. Um, I do feel as though now that I am on day four, 
it's more of a challenge when you are changing the diet. I think I'm a very consistent person. Like I said, I'm very organized. So I do like consistency. And today having to think of other foods and stuff, like it almost made me want to just go and eat whatever I want. Um, I should have wrote down a plan before I did this. But honestly, I would rather eat the chicken breast and broccoli than eating the uh, turkey and peas. So I might go back to the chicken breast and broccoli just because it's a great, I don't know, day ender. And I really, really, really enjoy chicken breast and broccoli. So um, I do miss that part of it. And um, I'm going to see how I feel again about the scrambled eggs. But I did try the scrambled eggs and I didn't feel as full. Um, anything else? Any other updates? No, not really. Everything else is pretty much the same and I hope you guys are doing great on your diets. I'm once again so happy that a lot of you are able to lose this weight during this time. We got this, we got this, we got this. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. We're trying to get to 22 pounds. I'm at 8.8 .8 and I have, well, I guess that's on target a little bit so <laughs> that works. That ends up working out. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of this. I will give you guys a body shot so you can see how I'm looking on day 10. And then I will, of course, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe button if you are not subscribed and also turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.